Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm here with a Mercedes today in jet black. I'm all the way out in uh, Orlando today. And I'm about to get started. Um, <clears throat> I don't require a lot to do a very efficient job, as you can see. Um, my products from DetailJuice.com my polisher and uh, a few other things I've got my super fancy expensive no that's not how I roll because that's not what I need I have a very inexpensive I think it was seven dollars it's a headlamp it's LED and we can see all the defects we need to see so when looking at just the paint you can see it's all swirled up which is the reason that I'm here no big deal the trunk lid looks the worst so I'm going to yeah, you can see how gross that looks. All hazy. I'm gonna start by getting this thing washed. I'm gonna use some ghost ghost rinseless wash solution. Uh, that's the first step step in the force field protection system. So I'm gonna get the car cleaned with ghost. Uh, ghost leaves behind no residue, so it's the perfect rinseless solution to use when you're either prepping for a coating or a wax or something like that or a sealant uh, or if you're going to prep for polish because you're not fighting uh, with ghost uh, the polymer that's left behind because there isn't any being left behind so it's a good prep product for doing anything uh, it, it also works as a, a really good uh, maintenance product because it's not adding anything to the deal it's not going to add a different type of polymer or a different type of wax or solution to what you've already got on there trying to protect. So ghost rinseless wash, I'm going to handle this and then get it clay barred and then I'll probably do the demo with polishing on the trunk lid since it's really bad. You'll be able to see the 50-50 really well um, and I'll, I'll give you some shots of what we're doing, I'm gonna use infinite finish. Uh, the plan is to add some infinite cut to the deal. So you, we're still still getting the finishing effect, but we're adding some abrasive to the deal to cut a little deeper. And that's always good. And that should actually work very well and not compromise the finish. And still lay down the primer uh, for infinite force field which is a co coating uh, I'm gonna apply to this car when I'm done with the polish. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, finish getting set up and get this handled and we'll be back when I'm ready to do the polishing demo. All right, so I've got the uh, yellow Eurotech pad, Speed 5, Harbor Freight DA, infinite finish, got some infinite cut right there. Working on this Mercedes. You can see that it is hardly defect free. But this is after infinite finish and that combo I just showed you. It's a lot clearer and the defects are toned down a lot. Is it perfect? No. But it looks a lot better than it did and this process removed the haziness which is the reason that I'm here. Boys and girls, I'm shooting this video with my GoPro Hero 5 today, and it is not the most amazing camera on the planet for, I guess, showing off my detailing artistry, if you will, because we know, we all know detailing is an art form, and on the, the most amazing 
talented people can do it. You guys know I'm being sarcastic, right? Anybody can do this stuff. Just takes time, effort, and a little bit of knowledge, and you can handle it. Anyway, I have not polished this part. I have polished that part. Notice the difference in clarity. I'm not, I'm not trying to remove all the defects. That is not what today's job is for. What today's job is for is to get the clarity back and remove some swirls. So if you go from this haziness to some clarity, you're in good shape. I'm gonna wipe some residue off, but still looks awesome compared to what it did. That's what we're doing. Got some more work done. So this is the clear film. It's kind of nasty, but I got that cleaned up too. This is the paint, obviously, on the hood. It's a lot clearer over here. I gotta wipe some of that residue off. That's what you're seeing. But it's clearer, not as hazy. So that's awesome. All right, 2013 Mercedes E350, all done. I polished it with infinite finish. Some areas got infinite cut, mixed with infinite finish, and then the whole car got infinite force field. So infinite finish has a primer in it that works just like stripper juice does to prime the surface for a proper bond of infinite force field. So infinite force field was applied to all the paint, headlights, taillights, corner lamps, chrome, windows, and the wheels, which you'll notice those are very clean as well. I did dress the tires with transform dressing. Uh, because these tires were a little bit dry, I used transform dressing straight Gives us a really good look. Car looks amazing. I was hired to remove the haze that was applied to the car by some hand polishing and I definitely did that and also smoothed out the edges of a lot of the scratches that the car had. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. If you got any questions for me, 813-846-4406. That's it. Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. And uh, thank you so much again for watching. Have a great day.